Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 18 where last time we went through Carrier Manor making our way through to Rani's Rise, pledging our service to Rani so we can find that beloved curse mark on her original body. Uh, among a few other things, we met Garank the Beastmaster finally, only for him to go mad and try and murder us until we were managed, uh, managed to calm him down. And now we're going to do a mission. A request for, for Rani, which is we're going down to Shifra River, uh, and we're going to go meet with Blythe, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, go and find Nokron, the Eternal City, together. Um, this is my new look, because Spice is the variety of life, so we're now a jewel-whipping um, highwayman who lost his pants. Um, that's currently what we're rocking with, so we're looking for, we're looking for Blythe. Um, and let's go. Let's go and find him. Uh, we're looking for a a wolf-like gentleman, uh, very well spoken. Um, perhaps he may not be hanging out with all of these dudes in the beginning. I've just gone from uh, the beginning because we've skipped the elevator ride, and I've just fast traveled, teleported down here, and I'm going to pick up all these materials while we're here. Hello, everybody. Oh, there's an item up there. That's right, because there's a ledge up there. There's an item with a mimic. Interesting. Interesting. Look at that synchronized strike. Prepare to get whipped! Okay, it actually kind of did a good job. Because this does strike damage, believe it or not. There you go. So against their thick skins, uh, one does slash, one does strike damage. I wish it could stagger them though. That's kind of my problem here. I can do damage to them, but they'll, they'll fuck me up. Ah, dodge out of the way. That's right. Stand up to that. Get whipped. Even the... Unfortunately, even the final attack... That attack went right through me. Okay, what? Can you... No, I didn't think you'd be able to. I was like, can you... <laughs> can you backstab with a whip? No, you cannot. I'm covered in the blood of my enemies. Let's go. Um, let's actually... Because I'm no longer going to just panic my way through this area. Because we've been here before. I need to figure out how to get up there so we can, like... Let's have a look. Let me just steal all of your herbs before we get through. That's uh, the most important part. And I think if we go around here... Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Over here. Hang on. In here, I think. we got multiple options. Hold on. Let's have a look at this. An item over here. Budding horn. Anyone order a budding horn? I got it. Oh, it's okay. It's a health one. Wait. Ah, illusory wall? Illusory wall? Oh, I thought. I, I was almost confident that that one would have been. Okay. Okay, the plot thickens then. Um, not as easy as I thought. How are we getting around? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. We're doing this instead. There you go. Uh, Going around the long way. Not an illusory wall, but instead. Some bad boys chilling up here. You don't you guys don't have weapons. What's going on with you guys? Eh? Oh, it's because you're the magic types. Ha! Oh god, not the balloons! Not the boobles! I 
Aya! Throwing dagger. Okay, and now uh, I need to drop down one level, and then can drop down onto the next level. Okay, control drop. Nah. Anything up here? No. Hey. -ya. Damn it. Okay, item discovery. Gotcha. Hey. Oh, we got the oracle bubbles. There you go. Oracle bubbles. Sorcery of the Clayman. The Claymen, who served as priests in the ancient dynasty, produces several small magic bubbles that drift towards foes before they naturally pop. The Claymen search for lost oracles within their bubbles. Lost oracles in their bubbles. Sounds crazy. Alright. Well, we got that one sorted. See you later, everybody. I've got a date with a wolf man. If I ain't a jewel-wielding, whipping, naked son of a bitch. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take a take a hefty bet and say that he's probably just waiting for us in the general area out this way. It's probably a good, probably a good idea. Um. Sweet. Hey so this is our Shifra uh, River revisit. Maybe we can check around some areas to see if we've missed anything, or maybe now that Blythe is down here, it'll open up a new pathway or something, because we'll be supposed to be finding the Eternal City with him, which I believe is this area over here, based on our previous uh, encounter. So we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Blythe, are you around here? What's in here again? Ah, yes. Dead body. Perfect. Okay. Let's have a look. I can summon torrent, right? Mm. Do this is this is the faster method. Okay. Looking for this wolf man. Alright, here's our sign of uh, grace. Let's see if he's hanging around the grace point. Why are you hanging around? Crabs. Crabs. Well, there's an area I can go where I can get like a lay of the land, maybe. Get some, get some height. Um, let's go up here. Oh shit. Got some followers. You guys don't mind if I... Okay, you do mind. You do mind. Ow. Too many combos. Get whipped. Get whipped, you son of a bitch! Ah, we got their clothes. Fur raiment. Nice. Get the clothes of a spirit man. Oh, perfect. Upgrades people. Dude, that jump attack though? Okay. I do have the talisman that enhances jumps atta jump attacks, just so you know. So it's not like completely crazy. <laughs> okay. Can you stop doing mass combos? I'm trying to do jump attacks that are cool. <laughs> I'm out of stamina. I'm just looking to get to a great height, and then I'll pull out the old telescope. Oh, there's a tree in the way. That's not going to work. All right. I think I can literally see him. Hold on. There he is. It worked. See, just get up to a great height. I can just see a silhouette in the distance. Perfect. We found him, everybody. He's going to be like, who the fuck are you? I don't recognize you. I've never seen your face before. I'm looking for a samurai from a distant land. Very talented with his katana. You know him? Built up quite a reputation for himself. Helped me take out a bloodhound. You know him? You seen him? I mean, you're riding his horse. Have you killed him, perhaps? <laughs> he 
you'll have to do then. You must you must be stronger than him if you've managed to take his mount. Alright, I hope these followers don't come after me. Alas, they do be coming after me. Okay, fuck. Don't hit my man. Guys, give up the chase. If you know what's good for you, you'll give up the chase! Or you will die trying. Yes, he gave up. He saw what happened to the other guy. Perfect. Alright. Um, do you get taller each time? This feels unfair. Ah. Oh. Good to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to remember. Mate. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways. To no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. And recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. <laughs> Show him just how sharp my teeth are. Let's give him a squeeze. Love that. Okay. So now I have to leave and go ask Celibus? After all this work? I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Oh. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Oh, okay. Well, should I go check with Salus? Uh, Salus? Leave this place to me. If either of us learns, and if we reach a dead end, I suppose we go back to the source. Salus rarely gives a straight answer. First time. Okay, man, I want this guy's cloak so bad. So cool. Leave this place to me. If either of us learns, and if we reach a dead, Salus rarely. Okay. Well, I guess it is a good idea to check in with Salus then. So. I did manage to get teleported to Nokron uh, over there, I believe. That was where we got teleported and we jumped down and fought with a Crucible Knight. So we've come all this way, only for us to now need to go back to Celebus. And then if we, if I learn anything, exchange information. All right, well, I'll go check in with, <laughs> I'll go check in with Celebus then. Okay, Preceptor Syllabus. What you got for me, buddy? I've no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. Ask about Nokron. Nice. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. Mm. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. Okay. And I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. Okay, Celevis's introduction. There you go. More to do with Selen. However, which Selen, guys? Remember that we have two Selens marked on this map. And I don't know why. Uh, we got the first Selen. Uh, so, the, so, well, the second one here, Sorcerer Selen in the Witchbane Ruins, and the second one in the Waypoint Ruins. We're going to try Waypoint Ruins first, because the Waypoint Ruins Selen is the one that actually talks to us. But we've got a letter of introduction. Let's have a read of that now. Let's have a read of that bad boy. Be a key item, right? There it is. Scroll bearing a royal coat of arms. A letter of introduction written by Preceptor Celevis. I keep wanting to say Celevis, it's weird. Celevis. Addressed to a glintstone sorceress by the name of Selen. The contents of the scroll cannot be discerned. So I guess if you missed Selen really early on in the game, um, you know, you have to find her now. Hello. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Show letter of introduction. Nice. So I guess her crown would be based off of Renala's crown, right? Because each crown, uh, each one of these stone crowns relates to those portraits 
that we've seen in the place. And I think Renala's the, the only female one listed up there, so this should be her crown, which is kind of cool. Well, well. Salivus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. Wow. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice, I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. Oh. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement and so too would Rani's destiny. Oh, General Radan. Okay. So now we have to go and defeat Radan for all of this to continue. Okay. He's holding the stars in place. Okay. You wish very well. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that counts as what we've, we've learned something new. Uh, so let's head back to my guy. My half old friend. We'll head back to him and be like, yo, apparently I need to go and kill Radan. So I'll see you in like six years because that'll be like episode 400. <laughs> I have no clue. But there you go. Because that's one of our big boys that we've got to go and take down. So we'll see. We will we'll see. Blythe, I've learned valuable information. Whoop. Ah! God. Right in my asshole. It's so funny how the arrows... Like, I don't know if it's like a bug or what, but I swear to God, the arrows that get shot at you are smaller than the arrows that get lodged in you. And once they get lodged into you, they are massive. It's hilarious. Alright, jump whip is my new favorite. Jump rope, say hello to jump whip. Ah, well met. What news? What news? Just waiting to see if this guy will leave me alone first. Hold on. I think we're good. Tell Selen's story. Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Star's Curse Radan. That Star's reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Cade Wild. Ah! East of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard. Oh! He who was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan. Oh shit! Okay. Why did he walk all the way back to shoot me again? Oh! <gasps> How fucking dare you, right in the leg! Off to Skyrim you go then, sir. Holy shit. That scared the shit out of me. Imagine if he started, like, attacking me because he took damage. I shit my pants. Okay. Um... Damn! Okay, so Radan's also tied to the festival. Now, I need to go back to my note that I wrote down about that because I, th I believe it was Alexander that told us he'd be heading to, what is it, Castle Redman, right? Castle Redmain, I've got here. Alexander the Iron Fist, Journey to the East, Redmain Castle Festival. Okay, so Alexander and Blythe, our two favorite boys, are gonna be at this festival. Apparently we can fight Radan there. Oh no, that's off to the east. That's above us. Oh no. Are we doing are we doing Kaled? Are we going up the well? To go up here? Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Do we put Volcano Manor and this area on hold to do Kaled? Choices. But then we've been instructed to go to Lane Dell as well. Now we've been granted access because we have two great runes. One of which I still need to go here and reforge. Alright, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna see if we can do the study hole and see if we can repair this second rune 
and then choices are hard and then we'll put we'll put a pin in Limgrave because we've still got to do like Sorcerer's Isle we've got like a couple of things in here that we've still got to do we'll put a pin in this one for now um, I still need to figure out how to get up here as well Maybe there is like a lift that's like down below that I must have missed, so maybe I'll go back here as well. Okay, before we proceed into new ground, because I'm super, I want to continue this quest line, so it seems that we need to head east and pers like do this festival. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> new area again. New area again. Okay. Uh, we gotta uh, participate in this festival. That's exciting. That's exciting. Oh, I need an object for this, right? Something fits on this pedestal. We don't have a something. It's related to the moon. And because the second great rune is tied to Renala, queen of the full moon, I wonder if you need to get something from... something from her. Specifically. Because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty, we don't want to go for a swim. Uh, I, my assumption of this is if we put something on that pedestal, it might take down that lift. Because it looks like there's like a lift or something that should lower when we got to like the top of this place that should help us go over there. Um, I'll see if anything has just changed here normally now that we've actually dealt with Renala. Because obviously we went here before. And it might just, the path just might have been blocked because we hadn't dealt with, you know, the queen of the full moon herself. Uh, so, what we're looking to do here is up there. Um, I was just trying to see if from here it looks like it, it has it changed or not, but it hasn't. Alright, I'm going to head up to the top and see if there's anything of value. If not, I don't know. Uh, ah! Oh yes, at least we won't get invaded this time, so I can just kind of rush through. Hello bad boys. I'll just be passing through here please. Lighting my way. And then we can use this time to, to theorize and get excited about the fact that I'm going to travel east, which is Hellscape. That's exciting. We haven't... so... You know, we've we've periodically ended up there, which is kind of cool. Um, we have periodically ended up there. All three times we have pretty much entered Kaled against our will. Uh, we got teleported there in the very first episode of my playthrough. Um, we then ended up taking the Shifra well up to Kaled. And then the third time was Beast Clergyman. Uh, so... This will be our, like, I guess, proper first time actually walking into Kaled ourselves. So I, so I actually think a good idea um, on how to approach this is instead of teleporting to a place that we've already been in Kaled, I think it would be a great idea for us to actually properly enter it, which we haven't yet done. So... Just gonna quickly. I'm trying to feel like. I just wanna see if I can stand here without getting attacked. But I'm gonna get attacked by this rat. Let me just quickly investigate something, guys. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget! Um. Shit, what did I. What did I wanna investigate? I'm already. I'm already gonna forget. I'm already gonna forget. already forgotten what I wanted to investigate. My fucking pea brain, dude. This is why I've been writing everything down. Maybe I'll remember, maybe not. Okay, so... See, there's, some, there's, there's a thing there, right? You see that? And I shot it, and nothing happened. Makes me wonder if you need to... I don't think they would tie it behind needing to maybe, like, cast sorcery at it, because... I don't even... I don't own a long-range attacking spell. Ah! That rat! 
<laughs> oh, almost suffered the fate of that rat. And see if that like the answer lies anywhere. Take my spear, my spear whip. Reckon we can jump on a chandelier, and it'll do anything. I don't know. Can always try. Are these chandeliers tied to anything? Hiya! Experimentation. Okay, well now I've just got myself trapped. I can jump down. <laughs> God. Hello everybody. Hello there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I want to figure out how to do the Vine Tower. I don't know yet. I feel like I need an object to... I think that's the connecting thing here. We need that... An object to put at the very beginning that might help. Where is said object? No idea. Um, hang on. Window! Window! Hold on. Window. Window! I always forget to check for these when I'm in lifts. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I always forget. Alright, hold on. I need to... Jump out. What is that gonna take? Where's that gonna take me that I can't get to before? Let's see. This both leads to the same place, right? Yeah. Now I'm just overthinking everything. Okay, let me... Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Why did I jump so early? I can, I can do this, I swear. <laughs> I'm like, it's just, it's a small window of opportunity. You know? It, I can, I can do this. I believe in myself. I have the power to do this. Alright, let's go, let's go. I got this, I got this shit. Okay. Oh my fucking god, there's hands here. Uh, hang on a minute. Okay. Get down. <laughs> okay, will they fall? They die at that height. I can stab it. Hmm. Well, now I'm... Oh. Dude, that's so creepy. I'm trying to, like, see if I can spear it. Right, that's up too high. Let me get my bow. Let me get the old... The old bow out. Solve this problem. Quick, smart. Okay. I have killed three hands. Um, however, failing to see... So... Oh, I'll definitely fall from... So that's a... That's a death floor. So why... Why are there just hands here? Unless we can walk on that water. Is, is the water deep? Or are we able to walk on it? Let's find out! Nope, that's that's deep water. That's a genuine death. Okay. Maybe hinted at by those three hands that died before us. I was thinking maybe they were weaker, or maybe they are scripted to die, but we could potentially survive. Because I didn't know if it was shallow or not. What the fuck is the point of that window, then? <laughs> the point of that window is absolutely useless. To hide three hand spiders. I guess that's just to show that... You know, 
Rea Lucaria, this divine tower of Leonia, which is tied to, you know, the moon, also has connections to, you know, Karaya Manor as it's in the same, the Karayan royalty, Karian royalty. So, they would have hands here as well, I guess. But is that, that really the whole point of this is just to be like, there's three hands, guys. That's fucking bizarre. That's weird. Okay. Discovery! Thought I was onto something there. Alright, well, fuck it. I'm out. Um, I'll figure it out what I can get for this thing. What does this guy say again? He just talks about celestial globe. Transmit to pos posterity. Oh, hang on. An obscure forever the transgressions of the princess. Okay. Put a pin in that. We're not figuring that out anytime soon. Um, I might check in. Maybe, maybe I could find my answers with Renala, perhaps. Investigative time. I need to repair this great rune somehow. Usually, you'd, you'd think that we'd just be able to just by fucking. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. I was like, wait. Okay, that's locked. Hey, how do I open the chest? Art thou now assured of thy want? Can I open chest? Be not. I would birth. Maybe the thing that we need is in this chest. I can't attack it because we're in a fucking safe space. God damn. It's locked, so we need a key. Where to get key? No idea. It's in here. Illusory bookcase. Illusory bookcase. Illusory statue. Illusory bookcase. There's gonna be something in here, dude. Illusory book thing. What if we gesture at this statue? Have we got a gesture that matches this thing? <laughs> not dejection. <laughs> um, but warm welcome. Wait, that's not gonna work. We got, we got rapture. We don't have one that matches the statue pose. We could do erudition. May erudition light our way in front of the statue. What do you think? And then it goes. The chest is unlocked. Erudition. Light my way, if my legs ain't as furry as this coat. I'm, we're touching hands, come on. From a distance. Nope. Okay. Fuck. How do we... Illusory bookcase. See, this is all the, this is all the pointless exploring. This is the this is the ugly side of a from software game. It's the running around clueless, really just trying to try everything. This is always why I laugh when people are like, "How'd you figure that out?" It's like the countless amount of the countless amount of failures. <laughs> when you do trial and error so much, eventually one of those trials will result in a success. This is how it works. Run around until you find the answer. Okay. Oh, do you know what's so cool? Is it while I'm doing the erudition gesture? Ooh, when you do erudition while wearing the helmets, they the crystals glow. On my head. Ready? Uh, bang! Oh, that's so cool! When you do the air addition gesture, it lights up the crystals on the head. That's sick. Anyway, I give up. <laughs> anyway, I give up. Um, just another one of those mysteries. All right. Um, <clears throat> now, Summon Water Village is as far as we've gotten this way. Uh, so I actually think it would be an awesome idea for us to maybe... Um, push into Kalid this way. Now, just to recount and recap you all on my adventure, my lovely adventure through Kalid, is um, 
we haven't actually been in this area here. We haven't spoken to this finger reader before. Um, we found a map fragment somewhere around here, I think. It. I don't think it's marked on the map after you find it. Uh, so I don't know where it was. But we have found it, but we haven't pushed in here yet. So we haven't checked out this bird's eye view telescope. We haven't spoken to the finger reader. We haven't been in here. Just for context, there's a minor earth tree there. All we've done is we went up this well from Shifra. We've been here and we have run up to this thing. So it spawns three really difficult <laughs> invaders that we were not able to kill. Maybe I'll try that again. Maybe I'll be able to kill them. Uh, it's guarded by two giant uh, enemies. And there's a map fragment, so we haven't actually been able to find our way above there because we've gone from here, dropped down. This is the crystal tunnel, which was the the place that we were uh, transported to when we very in the very first episode in that chest, um, and we ran cluelessly uh, to the town of sorcery, um, <laughs> but haven't been able to push any further. And then obviously beast clergy, but so we're going to go from here and we're going to try and do it thoroughly from the Summon Water Village. So let's go to the Summon Water Village outskirts and begin our push into into Kaled. So we do have, uh, I do have like the option to go this way to Dell or the option to do Radan at this festival. Considering the festival and Radan and stuff has been mentioned quite early on, uh, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do that one. Maybe we'll do that one first. Uh, choices, choices. Always very difficult to choose. Now, in terms of this area, I'm pretty sure we spoke to this merchant. We ran down here. I don't know if we've checked what this is. I don't know if we've checked out what could be down here either. So while we're here, I kind of want to take that opportunity uh, to do so. So, let me just have a brief look. These are ruins. So, I don't think we're going to see anything here. You just want to make sure, you know? Also, exploring in Limgrave again is always a really interesting thing. When you push into another destination for so long and you're like, Oh, I haven't visited Limgrave in a while. Limgrave has such a lovely uh, open world theme as well. I actually love this area. Okay, so this is Summon Water Village, and I believe there are ruins here that we have already gone down. I believe so. It's been a little while. No, this is, there's turtles here, right? And this is where I got my, this is where I got the, the turtle talisman, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. So we've definitely done it. It's over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we've done this because there's turtles. I remember. So we can move on from there. That's good to know. How bizarre that we can't f really access the um, that second divine tower from the Onia. You'd think you'd be oh sh. You'd think you'd be able to quite easily because of you know the whole. It being the second great rune related tower and all. But we'll see. Okay, we've got a couple of jumping points, which is good, because now I can jump back up if I need. Oh my god. Uh, I almost thought that I just jumped out of bounds. Got one of these bad boys. What you got for me? Ooh, the sacred blade. Okay, sunlight blade. Celeste so says hello. Let's have a look. I just forget where it is sometimes. Um, Sacred Blade. Armaments attacks Holy Essence and fires off a Golden Blade projectile. The armaments retains its Holy Essence for a while. Nice. The Sacred Affinity. And the following skill of Sacred Blade. That would... That's actually... That's a cool one. That's a cool one. Okay, now this is Third Church. No, Third Church? Yeah, Third Church America. 
At least I can easily jump back up after I run down here. Turtle. It is interesting when there's like scripted. Ah, uh, that's what. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? I was literally going to say scripted dead bodies, but even cooler, scripted wolf hunting the bear. What the fuck? This is so cool to witness. Don't you ruin the moment, you fucking dragonfly. Fuck. Get him. Whip him. Not only are you going to spoil this moment for me, you're just going to stand there and not even let me get you. I fucking hate the dragonflies in this game. Dude, this is sick to watch. Holy shit. Help him out. Oh god. Oh god. No, the wolf's attacking me. I'm helping you out. No! I'm a friend of the wolves. Just ask Blythe. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this fucking wolf's gonna ruin everything. Yep. Wolf totally ruined that moment. Oh, for fuck's sake. He was stuck there. Yeah. Guys, go for the clearly bigger threat. I'm fumbling the bag right now. Come on. Alright, fuck it. Ah! I missed my window opportunity again. That wolf died just by the bear getting up. Nothing like fucking enemies doing their extremely long, stupid ass wind up attacks. God, it's such a meme in this game. Uh, the bear just literally vanished. Am I crazy? The bear has literally vanished after hugging me. What the fuck? But the battle music. Um, what? I just got runes. What happened? <laughs> okay. That's what that's what you get for doing wind-up attacks, you stupid fucking bear. You get killed. I'm so confused, but okay. I'm like, the battle music's still there. Not for long. Alright. Uh, scripted wolf with some bears. I thought something cool might have happened if we saw it play out, but instead we just got disappearing uh, bear. Fucking, why did it do the double jump before I'd even jumped off? <laughs> I wanted to go up a different way. Alright, I'm just going to ride the wind up. And then I don't think, I don't know, you never know if there's going to be anything around there or not, or whether it's just going to be empty space. Let's get a look of the environment from up here! I oh, don't know, it looks pretty empty to me. He says as he barely captures the environment. Yep, no, 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 no. Back up here again. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Oh, hello. Have I been in here? I haven't been in this thing. Wait, Gale Tunnel. But I'm here. Ooh. Excuse me. Okay, what level of smithing stone can I acquire in this place? Aha! Okay. Because the actual grace point is right here. Nice! Okay. Rear Gale... Ah! Oh. There's two entrances. We found the rear entrance. And it just automatically unlocks both. How interesting. If you find the rear entrance, it unlocks the main one. Ah, Smithing Stone 4. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, I can't fast no, I can't fast travel. Alright, I've gotta leave. So weird. Alright. I'll leave then. I can see when I'm not wanted. 
I'm out. But now I can just travel. Okay, now I can just travel to the main one. That's so strange. <laughs> All right. Door does not open from this side. I'm like, okay, mate. All right. I'm at the Gale Tunnel. Wait. How do we... How do you get to... Oh, I guess you need to drop down a hole or something to get to this one. Interesting. Lost Grace discovered. How interesting. That didn't feel correct. Do you, don't you agree? I don't know. Something felt wrong about being able to fast travel to a grace point I haven't discovered. I don't know if it's a weird oversight or what. What I do know is this guy's gonna die. Ow. Ah oh, yes, these ones get staggered by the whips. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. What are you doing? Ah, oh, he's just watching the land octopus. Why is there an octopus in the mines? Ow. You want to answer that question for me, bud? Why is there a land octopus in the mines? It's not a mine octopus. Let's go this way. Is this the variety of outfits and weaponry that you guys have been seeking? Is dual-wielding furry madman not wearing any pants go fucking getting scared by giant land octopi. Also, I'm going to take this moment that literally throughout this playthrough, I've said I'm not very good at identifying sea creatures when it came to seeing the prawn... Whoa! The prawn slash crayfish, whatever. And earlier in the playthrough, you know, I was surprised to see... Uh, I was criticizing... Not criticizing, but like fucking making fun of the land octopuses for having a giant beak. And everyone was like, fucking octopuses have beaks, man. Obviously, I didn't know that. <laughs> it has a lot of health, though. That's something. So, seeing something that looks like this with a big-ass beak coming out of it just doesn't look natural to me, you know? But apparently... If you guys weren't aware, octopi have fucking beaks. And they hit like a truck. And I'm gonna attack it with something else because this is crazy. Okay, it just. Okay, why are you so strong? What's the reason? What is the fucking reason? Holy shit. Why do you hit like a truck and you have health that makes you god? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Hey guys, they custom dyed my fur coat with blood. <laughs> Funny how that works. You do a backstab and it just gets coated. Okay, surely, surely this is a glitch. You're not supposed to be this strong. What the fuck is happening? Oh, hang on. I did more damage there. Hold on. Ah! Stop. What the fuck? It just healed itself by eating its... Oh! It just ate its tentacle. Holy shit. It just ate itself for sustenance. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's the bleeding that's doing that, that more damage. Not necessarily the beak. I'm not... Yeah, it's, it's bleeding, because it's doing the whole... There we go. Fuck you. Because it's doing the whole bleed effect. Nice. I have so much fucking health for. What the hell? Land octopus ovary. All that for an ovary. The things we do for... I'm going to hold my tongue on that. <laughs> uh, the things we do for octopussy. Alright. Um, let's read the item that we got. We got a weapon in here, dude. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Let's have a look. Uh, what did we get? This bad boy across Naginata. 
Weapon consisting of a three-pronged blade affixed to a long pole. The long central blade closely resembles a katana, a weapon of the land of reeds! Oh my god, it's built for me! Known for its ability to be wielded as a spear while still being capable of performing slashing attacks and an impaling thrust. Holy shit! C deck scaling, blood loss, and 20 decks. 16 strength. Holy shit! I just found a new weapon for my samurai. Oh, that's sick! Move over, whip boys. We've got a spear. I'm going to put an Ash of War on this bad boy as well. Uh, it's got a passive blood loss build up. Oh, I want to infuse this with an, with an Ash of War finally. That's sick. And it's got slashing damage. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, I like that. I'm a fan of that. And a smithing stone 4 cave. I am also a fan of that. I'm also a fan of floating stick. How do I learn the magic of floating stick? It confuses even the most bulbous, skulled humans imaginable. I cannot figure it out. Boys, have a look at my new spear. Oh fuck. It does nothing. Uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah! Wait a minute. I don't. Okay. I unequipped my. I've made a mistake by unequipping my uh, striking whip. I need to put that sh bad boy on immediately. That oh, fucking god. They even give these fucking idiots wind up attacks. What do you think you are, a boss? Punk ass. Alright, let me put my... You know what, maybe I should just do my hammer. How much does this do? 134, 42. This does 176, 70. Alright, we're putting my hammer on. We're putting the hammer on. Let's go. Strike damage. <laughs> Get striked. Okay, cracked crystals. Yep. <laughs> I love enemies that attacks are specifically designed to punish you for dodging backwards. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oi, big boy. Get fucking hammered. And not in the fun way. Let's go. Yep. Uh. Yep. Uh. Ah! You know, just stand there while your friend gets fucked? Huh? Bam. You next, bud. You're getting in on the action as well. Give me all of your shit. Where'd this guy come from? Why didn't it pick up the... Get hammered. Thank you. I'm all out of flasks, dear boy. That is a mistake. It's alright, I'll be fine. Half health, eat your heart out. Is he coming back up the ladder? No. Alright, you reckon I could get this? Let's go. Hey, Bozo, get off the ladder! Bom, bom, bom. Haven't I cleared out this whole group yet, so I should technically be able to get more flasks? Apparently not. Apparently not. I do have items that can heal my health, don't I? Um, what are those again? What's that one again? What can heal my health? So I've probably gone over it multiple times. Hang on. There's an item. Temporary boost physical attack. Madness. Physical damage negation. Oh, yes. The raw meat dumpling. That's right. Restores HP but causes poison buildup. That's fine. Oh, 
Oh no, I've been poisoned. Time to eat my green balls. Isn't it funny how you can go from this master samurai type beat to big hammer go smash in my fur coat? The devolution of man. This is the rear entrance door. Alright, yep, it's the rear entrance door. There you go. I guess this will be our boss of the tunnel. Ah, oh, well, fucking in that case, I'll just rest here. I just wasted the dumpling! Just wasted a dumpling and uh, my mossy balls. Holy shit. What are you? Magma worm! You're not a worm! Holy shit. Look at this guy. Whoa! Yes! Go for it, buddy. Nice. Quilana would be proud. Ah! Also, before I have someone very predictably jump in my comments and go, um, do you not know where a worm is? I was making a joke about a worm with the letter O. There's always, there's always someone before you jump at me for saying that it's not a worm. Fucking get hammered. Okay, nothing like battling a fucking enemy with a weapon that I never use. I'm naked. Ow! Holy shit. Yo. Oh! Yes, imagine jumping on their head. Great. That's exactly what we want. Ow. I'm gonna just do this real quick. Ah. Haha. Eat my jellyfish. What the fuck was- that's some fucking- that's some gaping dragon ass bullshit right there. That was some gaping dragon bullshit. Damaged by the leg hitbox, you fuck. Damaged by the leg movement. I hate enemies that damage you because they're moving. I get they are quite substantial in size, but it doesn't mean I can't hate it. You know what I mean? And I do hate it. Fuck that shit. Just because their leg- brushed against me doesn't mean I can't shake that shit off. Now, look at this. Imagine if this could be power, um, I think it's, what is it? I think it's been referred to as power stancing because it's technically got a katana blade on it, but no. The samurai's back, bitch. With his fucking, yes, let's go. Alright guys, first try, let's do it. Ah, oh, the hammer was actually a good idea. I'm fat rolling shit! I should have tested this out first! Hold on. Uh, let me just throw some shit off real quick. Alright. We're okay. Where's my runes? I can't see them. There they are, behind a little fiery thing. Okay, hang on. I need to actually be doing strike damage against this fucking thing. Okay, the sheer amount of fucking ground you can cover with that attack, I hate you. Fuck off. Okay, but also this does cause blood loss, so I'm gonna keep using it. Oh god, no. Oh, I pressed the B button. Apparently I was unresponsive that day. You fucking better not. I fucking... How much fucking ground are you covering, my fucking guy? Dead! Stop! 
Enemies that can take up the whole fucking screen. Oh no, it's one of these fucking souls fights, man. Absolute anus. Put a giant boss in a small room and have him cover the whole arena, like, with no struggle whatsoever. Fuck this guy. Alright, I'm gonna summon my, my jellyfish boy. Actually, fuck it. I'm gonna summon my ancestral follower. Ancestral follower gang, let's go. Pressed Y, dude! Yeah. Get fucking eyeball smacked! You worm ass. What the f- My attack went right through him! Oh, that's not worth it. Okay, that was good. Oh, that was good. No, my guy! Oh, you're just gonna do that attack multiple times. It's literally like... Gaping Dragon with Qualana, Qualana's Magma Breath. Like, that's fucking shit. What? What the fuck? And he has, like, old... Uh, he has, like, the Watchdog's fucking Fire Breath that curls around as well. Holy shit. He's got, like, all of the worst qualities ever. Ever. That was good timing. Get your stupid ass boss qualities out of my face. You dickhead. Okay, so you take no damage in that moment. Okay, there you go. Okay, fuck off. Just be out of here taking no damage. This is a boss that deserves to have damage dealt to it when it gets knocked down, because it fucking sucks. Ow! Why did I drink? I didn't mean to drink. I didn't need to drink. Oh, nice. Finish move! Fuck you, scumbag! Oh! I got a dragon heart and a weapon moon veil. Ooh, hoo, hoo, moon veil. Oh, it's a katana. This is a samurai's dream cave. What the fuck? Oh my god, I need intelligence. Shit. Transient moonlight. Oh, guys, we're leveling in. We're leveling intelligence, and it still causes blood loss. Oh, a katana forged of glinstone, masterpiece of a Celian swordsmith. Light in wreaths of the blade when sheathed, explaining its moon veil moniker. Transient Moonlight. Sheath the blade, holding it at the hip in a composed stance. Follow up with either a normal or a strong attack to draw the blade at great speed for an instant slash attack. Both attacks fire off a wave of light. It's literally unsheathed, but magic. Oh. Oh, shit. Magic Katana. We are so... We are so leveling. We are so leveling intelligence. Maybe I should respec with Renala, take a few of my strength points down and put them into intelligence instead. I might do that. Because then that allows me to focus on a very specific type of 
weapon. I want to, like, it'll allow me to specialize in something, and it will allow me to cheekily do some magic as well. And magic seems very, very cool and important in this game. And a lot of the weapons that I'm looking at using don't need a lot of strength. Like, I don't need to be fucking busting out this hammer. And I can, I can, I always have a strength potion thing anyway. That's, that's not a bad idea. I might respect to put some more points in intelligence and take it away from strength. Because my intelligence is currently at 10, but I can wield this bad boy to get 16. Magic Samurai Alert? Magic fucking Samurai Alert? I think there might be still more for us to explore in these caves. However, your mum. So I'm going to go respec at Renala instead because that's much more exciting. Magic Katana and we got a spear as well. Oh, that's sick. Me going, all right guys, playtime's over. We're playing around with some whips and shit. Um, sorry guys, we just unlocked Moonveil and I haven't even leveled it up yet. Okay. I'm finally ready to become born anew. I'll become one of your little sweetings. Rebirth! Use a level tier to accept rebirth. Now, bear this sweeting into life anew. Oh no, not a... yeah. Let's fucking go, okay. I'll keep Vigor. Uh, I'll keep Vigor there. Now, Strength. I think I want to put it at 16. Uh, I'm going to put Intelligence there. Dexterity, I want to go back up to 25. Strength, Endurance, back up to 22. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, why did we upgrade Mind again? Why did I upgrade Mind? Oh, it was for like three more FP to summon... Latena. Okay, I see. Hmm. Okay, strength. Because there was something, I think, strength 16 that I wanted to wield, but then I can just two hand it, and then it doesn't matter, so I can actually take my strength down even more. My strength at like, yeah. And then if I put on my funny little hat, then I think that's fine. And that's like just without leveling up. I can always level up my strength again later. Uh, and then mind, yeah, mind was for the FP for Latena. Nah, we'll do that. Because I think we have like a talisman that increases my FP. So if I want to summon Latena, I can just do that instead. Rebirth me! Oh, we got a new gesture because of it. Bold up. I'm all I'm all bold up. That's a new term, guys. We ain't bricked up anymore. We're we bold up at Renala. Alright. Bold up gesture. Let's fucking go. Oh shit. Oh, it doesn't even look like the... Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't even look like the thing. You fall into it. Mother! I'm bowled up! Okay. Um, and now... Because it's, it's 23, so for now I can wear a hat. We don't have a... We have a Raising Faith talisman. We need a, rage, a Raging? A Raising Magic one. Alright, if I put on my special little hat, that gives me 23. It does give me a little less vitality, but I can now wield Magic Katana. Dude. I can now wield Magic Katana. Uh, and then, I wonder if these still dual wield. Why did I go up from this way? Okay. I wonder if we can dual wield these bad boys. Only one way to find out. Um, I'm now going to go to... Our blacksmith. We'll go to table of lost grace. We'll go to our grace given blacksmith. 
the round table hold. Ugh. Ah. Well, I took you for dead. No matter, it's lay out your arm. Lay out your arms then. Okay. Ah, this is a somber smithing stone. Okay. We need somber smithing stone five, which we have none of. And yes, I got more smithing stone four, so I'll level up this guy. Ah, smithing stone five. Don't mind if I do, right? Each katana plus fourteen. Sick. Okay, I like that a lot. Ah, I don't have any lower leveled level ones anymore. Uh, let me go buy some smithing stones. You know it'd be nice if the blacksmith sold them. Maybe the blacksmith should like, I don't know, link up, communicate with uh, these fucking maidens. These bad boys over here to get some smithing stones in their inventory. So now it's up to me to buy them. Alright, let me buy like, uh, like 20. Let me buy like 20 of you as well. I can't wait to use Transient Moonlight, that's so cool. Magic fucking katana. Hiya! Back already, no matter. Back already. Back already, mate. Nice. Okay, uh, and then... What else did I want to upgrade? Well, I guess I can upgrade that. Need more somber smithing stone number six for the bloodhound's fang. Just gonna... Nice. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Um... Back already. No matter. Actually, I can do ashes of war here. Now. Ashes of war. I could make my other one instead of having that with unsheath. I could give it something else. So this needs... I can just do these. Glint blade. Gives it an... In, takes the scaling. Oh, it changes the scaling of the weapon too. Right. Alright, hold on. What do we want to do here? We've got the cold... Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, it changes it to a blood loss build up of 70. This one will do frost and blood loss if we change it to a cold one. And it does magic damage. Oh, we could have had magic damage ages ago. Okay. I've been sleeping on this shit. I've been sleeping on this for the longest time. We could have already just made a magic katana ourselves with one of these. But then it wouldn't have magic unsheath, would it? Okay. Determination. Is there like one that gives us a... Yes. No? Quality. Determination. Pledge your resolve, stomp, stormcaller, and it gives it the quality. This one gives it keen, beast roll, sword dance, heavy, ground slam, war cry. Okay. And then it changes its scaling. This gives it B deck scaling. And then this focuses on intelligence, and then this is faith. That's arcane. Why does blood have to be tied with arcane just because of bloodborne? Come on, man. Bloody slash. I want a blood blade so far. So badly. Maybe... Maybe this is a good idea. But then it's just another magic katana. But it's a cold magic katana. Decisions, decisions. I would really like one that's like... I love the name of sacred Uji katana. It's so cool. But then... Faith. I like that it doesn't change the re attributes required, though. Golden Vow and Sacred Blade. Sacred Blade would be really, really cool, especially when we want to do some holy damage. It's just a shame that it won't really scale, so we won't be able to take full advantage of it, but... 
I'm excited about the prospect of this because of us potentially coming across some enemies that um, will be weak against Holy. And I feel like that could be a better idea than just doing like two magic katanas. Even though these Ashes of War look great. Chilling Mist coats it in frost slash spinning frigid mist forwards. The armament retains its frost for a while. But then frostbite build up and blood loss. Oh, that's kind of sick. So it's physical damage will go down from 201 to 147. So it loses like 50. And then scaling goes down too. But then it gains 118 magic damage. It's... Is it? Sorry, guys. I'm just... I'm choices. It, it matters. Right, I'm going to do... I'm going to make it cold. Oh, and then I can choose the affinity from here. Oh. oh. So it should... It does come with the cold affinity. I feel like that's the best one to give it, to be honest. Unless I want better deck scaling, which is, I would do this, but... Nope! Let's do cold. Hell yeah. And I mean, we can always switch later if we want to have that. Or, I can give... I can make this crossblade... A holy spear, instead. Now we can have that happen. Oh, or this one. Loretta's Slash. Leap forward, imbuing the blade with glintstone, then descend, accelerating into a sweeping slash. It'll take the deck scaling, like, to nothing. And then we'll also be magic again. Mm, cold, and then another, another cold one? Another cold one, sir! Oh, we can do an occult one? Spectral Lance, skill of the Headless Mausoleum Knights, hurl a phantasmic spear at foes. A cult doesn't change any of the damage, though, but it's an arcane scaling weapon. I'm going to make this a holy spear. It'll take our deck scaling, like, so far down, though. Alright, we're going to do Sacred Blade. The whole point of that, I think, is... Mm, Sacred Blade gives us temporary holy damage as well, but... I'm also tempted to do kind of this to get more deck scaling. It's hard to choose. We can change it later. We'll make it a sacred blade for now. I could make this sacred as well. Uh, this does kick. I want to change this. So ground slam, beast or probably not. Storm stomp, determination. Um, Hold flat, powering up your next attack. Only your next attack. Stomp hard to kick up a momentary storm. I think that's probably better than kicking. And then I can change this shit. I think this would be a good idea to change this to a better deck scaling weapon. However, it'll lose some normal power. All right, let's make it cool. Let's make it keen. We got a keen Arumi. And then on the whip... Um... Unleash a beast hero, rendering the air as forward traveling projectile. We turn ourselves into a crazy bad boy with these whips, though. And I think we should also deck scale these guys. Oh, we could make a frost whip. Just two qu quality. Oh, shit. I think I meant to do keen. Yeah, I meant to do keen. Nice. And then with the Lost Ashes of War, you can... You can duplicate, if you want. If I want to use more on other weapons. I don't think I need to do that yet, though. Carry in retaliation. Actually, one of these could be pretty sick on my shield. Hold on. Uh, like the bra shield? Because the bra shield has no skill right now, so I could change this to... Okay, the storm wall doesn't change much, but this one changes a lot. 
I lose five on physical damage negation. But if I swing the shield to dispel incoming sorceries and incantations, I can transform magic into retaliatory glint blades, and it can also be used the same way as a regular parry. Oh, I actually don't have to make it magic. Okay, I can keep my damage negation at 100 if I want. A passive effect of frost build up. Probably not. We'll leave that alone. Um, and it doesn't really matter. This I might just keep it standard. I don't need to change its quality because I'm not going to attack with it. But it's got a cool ability on it now. Hell yeah. Alright. That's our Ash of War. Uh, fucking around. For the first time, by the way. <laughs> Pretty deep into the game, and we're like, let's fuck around with Ashes of War finally. So I've actually put a couple on. That's nice. I like that. Um, I'm going to store a bunch of weapons that I'm not going to use. I've already done that before I started this episode, but I'm going to do even more and just focus on weapons that I'm actually going to use. Potentially, I don't know. Yet. I'll keep some in our inventory. I love that this is class, not even as a great sword, a colossal sword. That's so cool. A colossal sword. Uh, frozen needle is sick. I'm going to keep those in my inventory just because. Um, keep Bloodhound's Fang. Oh shit. I think I was supposed to make that one the cold one. Eh. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I fucked up. Yeah, whatever. I can change it. Again, I can change it later. The scythe with spinning slash and blood loss is actually kind of sick. Right, I'm going to keep this stuff in my inventory. There you go. There's our there's our menu part of the episode. <laughs> Wielding two magic blades. However, this one doesn't require intelligence. I'm assuming the only reason why this one has intelligence then is because of the fact that it's like transient moonlight. Like the Ash of War maybe. Because this one needing zero is, is cool. We'll, we'll test it out. Something something a little bit a little bit different. Uh, okay. Now that I've, I've respect, we've done that. I can play around with my magic. Um, we can now head back through. And Kaled, that was a good little cave to go through. I was going to skip on that entirely, and it's changed the whole course of my destiny. I literally rebirthed myself for this place. Hell yeah. And yeah, it's because it's still like the same type of katana. I can still dual wield with it, which is good. Nice. Magic Samurai. Um, and I've got to keep this bad boy on until I level up my intelligence naturally to 23. Um, this is a neat little collection of stuff that we've got here. I can, I can afford to chuck on some backup weapons. I can afford to, because as long as I stay at medium load, that's what we want. And then, if I want to switch to my katana and my shield, I can. That takes me to a heavy load, though. Takes me up to a heavy load. I need a talisman that can increase my equip load. That would be nice. Okay. Alright, I'm going to leave. I love that that's, that's a cave, pretty much, like, dedicated for your samurai class. It's like, here's your magic katana, and here's your spear. Have fun. So we got a ho we got holy damage coming in, we got a weapon with, that does frost build up, and they both do blood loss. 
as well. That's sick. Where is that? Ooh. We don't know yet. That's cool. I love how this, because it's all like rotten stuff based on when we were here. I like how it's like really kind of shows like that part of the map like rotting away as well. That's really cool. Nice. It's always funny how, you know, you can have like a random cave that you go into and it changes the course of what you choose for your character at that moment in time. It's kind of sick. Now, I'll just quickly check this road here. So we defeated the boss there ages ago. So long ago now. Magic Samurai. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I'm very happy about this. More big sword. More big sword reading time. Lord Godfrey, at last, at the end of his campaign, his golden armies unvanquished and unbowed, yet finds grace lost, tattered, and faded. Ooh, the change of scenery and atmosphere immediately. This is cool. I'm about to get invaded. Nice. They're about to eat my fucking transient moonlight. Anastasia Tarnished Eater. Ooh. Hi. Look at that blade. Whoa. Okay. Ready? Oh, that's so sick. Ooh. Get magic bladed. Oh, God. I'm going to get carved up by this woman. Tarnished Eater. So sick. I can do jumping attack too. Woohoo! Ow! <laughs> Anastasia! Anastasia's come a long way from her time uh, as a firekeeper. Anastasia tarnished a sacred scorpion charm. Ooh, this is fun! Uncharted territory, guys. Isn't Caleb going to be so exciting? Raises holy attack, but lowers damage negation. A talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen. Patent on a scorpion, freshly set shed of its exoskeleton, its claws seizing a heart with a blessed glow. That's so cool. Raises holy attack. Lowers damage negation. Fuck yeah, dude. Ooh, the church is on fire. Smoldering church. Well, it definitely do be smoldering. Hello. Missionaries Cookbook 3 and Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 14. Nice. You were saying it was just here the whole time, just waiting for me. Just waiting for me. Uh, Missionaries Cookbook. Silver Pickled Pal uh, Foul Foot. Okay, and then we got. 14. Poison stuff. Poison pot, poison dart, poison pot. Sick. And this is why we didn't just teleport inside Kaled where we'd already been. This is why we're like, let's go and check our surroundings first. So, Smoldering Church. Nice. And there's a path up to the Erd Tree. How exciting. I really thought that I was not going to be pushing Kaled until potentially after Landell. I was really contemplating doing that whole area first, but I can't ignore this exciting festival premise, especially that it's not only just tied with Alexander going here, I'm going to Castle Redmayne and going to like engage in a festival, but Radan's there and it's also tied to helping out Blythe to get to the Eternal City. They just got way, 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 way higher up on my priority list with with that. Especially like the, the lore and information that we've just been told about it as well. It's really, really neat. So we're about to enter a literal hellscape once again. This time of our own choosing, for better or worse. So we'll, we'll see. Ooh, lightning grease as well. Okay. Where's that? Have we been there before? 
Ah, oh, that's that. Okay. That's that thing. Now, we've been there before. It's not rendered in, but there's a giant pot guarding that. And three in um, invader summon signs. Oh, this is a good weapon to use on the horse. Ooh, Guardian Greaves. We've got some Guardian Pants. Let's have a look. Guardian Greaves. Worn by the Guardians of Minor Erd Trees. In accordance with an ancient pact with the Erd Tree, it is said that their deaths led not to destruction, but instead to renewed eternal life as Guardians. Right, I do I do a thrust with strong attack. Oh, you got a poison? Okay. Got something on your back there, sir. It's a little gassy, if you ask me. Sm smells like smells like shit. Also, just the music for Kaled is actually horrifying. Like the atmospheric music, horrifying. Ooh. Hearing like chanting. Oh, there you go. Pots rendered in. There he is. Giant archer. Is that castle? Is that castle red man? Oh. <laughs> oh, I have to be at a slight angle to make this work. It it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't go s straight. Wait a minute. That's not a pathway that goes straight down there, is it? That is not a pathway that goes straight there, is it? Oh shit, there's a few of you. Ow. Okay, now I'm just testing something real quick. Oh, okay. That's definitely stronger than this guy. Just testing the damage that my two different katanas do. Magic versus uh, no magic. If I can get a fucking hit on him, yeah. All right, magic one does more. Nothing like group of enemies all attacking at different intervals. Did they po did they poison themselves? Select. Guardian Sword Spear, nice. Guardian's Sword Spear. Let's take a look at that. Uh, weapon comprising a long handle and broad blade sharpened from the hard wood of old trees, wielded by guardians of the minor Erd trees known as experts in the arts of combat. This, the power of this weapon scales greatly with dexterity and spinning slash. Nice. So this is the foot of the Erd tree. Now... Oh, it just says Kaled, and then Minor Erd Tree. Okay, no, this is a different platform. It's an Erd Tree avatar, but a Kaled version with a bunch of pots again. Oh, it's a pu Oh, fucking hell. Okay, it's a putrid avatar. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to go for my horsey this one. Alright, you're strong. Oh shit. Oh, that was almost a hit. Too slow. Oh, you're spilling out rot. Oh god. Oh golly, oh god. Ah, it's the whole floor. Okay. 
Okay, that's Scarlet Rot for you. Oh! That's Scarlet Rot. It's literally just like rotten poison. Ah, oh, there's a stake of Marrakin nearby. Okay. 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 Stake of Marrakin. Fucking putrid. Putrid boy. Okay. I hear you. I see what you're getting at. Blah, blah, blah. Let's fucking go, boys. I got my I got my guy here. Oh my fucking the wind up. That's right, get arrowed. Yeah, good. I wish I had enough time to get the full, like, dual wielding combo off, but he attacks me way too soon. Oh, he also does this. Okay. Stop attacking! Oh, they're all going for him and not me! Fuck yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Love me, spirit boys. He's still alive. He actually survived that. That's crazy. And then he just died. He just died as I won. Nice work, buddy. Enemy felled. Green burst, crystal tear, flame shrouded, cracked tear. Let's have a look. I get um, <laughs> confused sometimes between tear and tear when you come across these ones, because I'm pretty sure the sacred one that you get in the churches is a sacred tear, because it's like collected in a, you know, cup. And then these are tears. English language. Read. Read. Where. Where. <laughs> um, okay. Flame shrouded. Boosts fire attack. Nice. And then we got... Ooh, okay, temporary boost stamina and stamina recovery speed. Okay. Interesting. That's cool. We could make a full-on stamina flask instead of boosting our strength by 10 points. Which I'm actually kind of on board with doing. I'm, a, I'm pretty on board with doing that. I don't feel like I need the strength boost. Let's just check around the base of the oak tree. With all these desecrated and destroyed pots. Okay, this is... Okay, yep. Yeah, there is a huge gap. For a second I was going to go... This path isn't going to lead all the way down there, is it? Good, I'm glad. For a second I was like, have I just... Messed up? This place is so fucked. Item on a tree. Ooh. What is this? A cracked pot. Well, well, well. I'm not surprised. I wish there was swimming in this game. Like, imagine the possibilities if they also had swimming in Elden Ring. Like, holy shit. Like, underwater dungeons or catacombs or something like that. Just be insane. That's like my dream. If they were to, like, add this. Add, like, an underwater dungeon or, like, something like that. Give me the ability to, like, breathe underwater. Sekiro style. And let's fucking go. Um, there's an item up here. I'm gonna have to fight up against some of these bad boys to get through them. Can you not try and poison me, please? It's impolite. How do I... Hello there! Oh, what's coming out of your face? Ah, oh, it's just your hair. Ex excuse me. How do you... How do you get up? 
Ow. Mate, they're dropping their gear pretty nicely too. died from that height? No way. No way, dude. I think I might be able to kind of like shimmy over this one. I think I might be able to get it. We'll just uh, cheekily try and get up on this branch. Otherwise, I'm missing the obvious pathway. Alright guys, don't attack me, please. I'm an innocent in this story. You can't get up here. Or I can. Okay. Now, I think. Yes! Fuck you! <gasps> Ooh, miss dismounted. Oh, okay. It's a re-knock. I mean, that's still, still cool. Still cool. I'll, I'll fuck with it. It's fine. Apparently, I'll fall from this height on my horse, though. I don't agree with that. Alright, there we go. Got rid of that rotten Erd tree avatar. These guardians are nasty. Have I done this? Even though I'm already past this area. I'm just gonna do this anyway out of force of habit. Now we're gonna leave. Okay, that's the church. Now main path? Okay. Smoldering pathway. Check this shit out. Whoa. Holy fuck. Uh, that's a... That's a giant bird. Is that that... Uh... Whoa! That's not what we faced in, um... That's not what we faced at all in, uh, Leonia. Like, that death bird thing? That's something else entirely. What the fuck is that? I'm not ready for Caleb, dude. <laughs> As in, like, mentally. I'm not, like, mentally ready for this place. This is, like, a nightmare. This is a nightmare. What the fuck? Uh, it's just a... It's just the standard enemy in this place, too. It's just the standard one. Ugh. Why is it? What the fuck? There's a few of them. Dear God. They really were like... Ah, oh, maybe that's Redmain Castle over there. It's rotting. Everything. Rotting scarlet. The very earth that Caelid rests upon. And Celia, town of sorcery. The end is nigh for us all. It's like Miyazaki literally went, I'm going to make the worst place ever. Right, that's more a castle. That's more like... That's more like a castle. That could be Red Main. They're just like, well, poison swamps? We got those too, but we're about to have Scarlet Rot, which is literally just red poison. And we're going to dedicate a whole fucking place to it. Shack of the Rotting! Unexpected hug! Hello! Is that how you greet all guests in your home? Holy fuck. Shack of the Rotting, wonder who lives here? <laughs> this game, uh, and not just this game, but every game in this fucking series, teaches you the lesson of don't run for the shiny thing immediately! Otherwise you will get grabbed by something. And you know what? I failed to, I failed to learn that lesson. Every single time. I get covered in blood for it, though. Okay, why is this a fucking location? Why is Shack of the Rotting? A location. Riddle me that, Batman. Why? Is there something here that I don't know? That desert that gives this place its title as a location on the my map? 
Can I jump upon its rooftop and I will find a magic jelly bean that will take me to a secret future DLC location? Who knows? You can't. You guys can't say no because it fucking might be. Because you never know with these games. Shit, okay, well we can go that way. Uh, so the Rock View Balcony is asking us to go that way, that one's asking us to go that way. So I'm assuming our festival... Oh, well fuck, if it's the festival which takes place at Redmain Castle, which is where Radan is, then I guess that would be more so over here. Okay, well where's this then? Oh god. And then they they put the fucking Dark Souls sludge in this game as well. And I hate that. I'm like inherently against that. Like I'm gonna protest its inclusion in the game. Because I just feel like it's just not necessary. Look at this red sky, man. It's literally just hell. And that shit's like rotting ash. Okay, hang on, that's a bit too too high up. Let me just slowly drop down instead. Oh no, they've got these fucking things here too. And a footstep thing. Oh my god. How exciting. Brand new area, which means I'm just going to get lost forever. Ow! Oh, I deserve that, apparently. Lord Swan's shield. Oh, smithing stone drop, nice. Where's this? Ah, oh, this is the actual entrance to Gale Tunnel. <laughs> the actual outside entrance to Gale Tunnel, right? Right, oh, chap, gotcha. Oh no, that's like a giant dog. Oh, yep. Yeah. I fucking hate these things. And then there's like a bird version. This is just Bloodborne shit, man. They literally were like... People want Bloodborne too, so I put it in Elden Ring. Oh, they fight these guys. Okay. We are much more better equipped for Kayla now than we were... Um, 17 episodes ago, though. Not very surprising. Oh! <laughs> I expected to maybe hit them a bit harder than that. I need my strike damage. Actually, what would holy damage do? Okay. Okay, if you guys could just go back to, like, mining stones or whatever, that would be chill. I'll be happy with that. Sacred Blade! And now I've got a Holy Blade. Yeah, the dog. Oh! Holy damage. <laughs> holy damage does something to you, does it? I like that. Alright, I'm glad we went with Sacred Blade, even though we're not leveling up Faith. Pretty fucking cool. I reckon when I do my next character, I think my next character will be... Okay, it doesn't last as holy damage for long. My next character will be like Strength and Faith. This one's going to be... This one's going to be Dex and Intelligence. Magic fucking Sword Boy, which sounds awesome. Magical Samurai, and then a prophetic um, strength character. It'd be like a Paladin, actually. That's kind of fucking awesome. Oh god, why is its path... Hang on, is its pathway random? Oh no, here it comes. Oh fuck. Its pathway is so fucking long. No, don't make me do this shit, man. Oh, I actually had it. Oh no, I got it with torch. With the torch last time, didn't I? Haha, -ha, flawless plan. Get it with the torch. Hit him with the old fire breather. That's right. He can't fucking resist the fire breather. Anytime. Here it comes. Fire breather. 
Yes! And it's also a flame. Flame of the red mains. Fuck yeah. I, I was scared that I was about to miss my timing on that one. Uh, flame of the red mains. Hang on, was it? Oh, it was Ash of War. It was an Ash of War. There it is. Flame of the Red Mains, skill of the Red Mains who fought alongside General Radan, produce a powerful burst of flames and a wide frontward arc. Who needs that when I got a torch? <laughs> okay, nice. Red Main. I mean, okay. This has potential for it to still be Red Main Castle then. We'll see, we'll see. I miss... I miss Melina, dude. Where'd she, where'd she go? She has not popped up in a while. She used to speak to us at Grace Points. She's forgotten all about us, I guess. You're doing a useless job at watching. Um... Okay, so instead of the glimstone, ah! instead of the glimstone version, it's a much speedier. Oh no, it's that thing. Oh, that's fucking cool. Oh, oh, that's so cool. It's you. Okay. Wow. Fucking gravity arrows, man. That's sick. That's one hell of an ability. Hey. So was there an enemy that we killed in uh, Carrier Manor that was doing the Glinstone version of that, maybe? I don't know. That's another thing, by the way, is I forgot last episode to do this. So, you'll, you're probably all hating me for this, but I literally at one point in this episode was like, oh, we're going to explore over here, and I I forgot. We haven't actually explored uh, behind <laughs> Carrier Manor. So I'm actually going to plant a beacon over there as a reminder for myself to do that at some point. Because I forgot to do that. Okay, are we breaking in down the side? I think we're breaking in. Can't go through the main gate. Aha! Uh -huh. Man on guard duty. You have been relieved of duty, sir. Ooh. Oh! I can do the fucking thing! Let's go! Oh, fuck off. I missed my- No! I got way too excited! Shit! Oh! I got way too overexcited for that. I should have just waited for my opportunity. We can do the thing where we kill <laughs> by jumping on it. For glory! Witness me! Witness! Okay. Hey, guys, don't do that, okay? I'm not recommended. Oh, we can do it here as well. Ah! Hold on. I want to do it here. All right, I got to fight some enemies first. Oh man, seeing like one of the fucking uh, the dogs just being like cooked. Come on, boys. Okay, guys. See my fancy skills? While trying to dodge this stupid guy's gravity magic? Where did it go? Oh, it's moving. God damn it. Get your butt over here. Can we... Hmm. I'm also not sure if you need to press the attack button while you're in the air or not. Oh, well, fucking...
Only one way to find out. Aha! Yeah, 19,000 damage. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, I should probably have expected that. <laughs> I should probably have expected the explosion. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. That's awesome. Causes it to explode. That's amazing. I like that a lot. Alright. Gravity magic guy. Oh. Gravity magic guy does come back to life. Ow. And he also has one of those. You gotta watch out for that one. We are just going to let him get on with his day, however. Because we've got a job to do. Oh, he's still able to get me. Okay. Still able to get me from there. Okay. <laughs> I like how it works. Oh no, I've dropped down from my... Okay. Whoa! Oh! we got f zombies coming out of the... Uh Okay. Oh, flame! Grant me strength. We got an incantation. Look at us go. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, why did I do that? Okay. That's fine. Item was floating in the air, so I couldn't get it otherwise. Oh my god, this area is fucked up. I just gotta quickly circle around again. Oh, this place is massive, dude. When the game just continually increases in size. The fuck? Oh. Oh, well, that's. Okay. Whatever. I'm going up this ladder, I'm getting into this place finally. Hello? Fuck, I should have just killed that guy. He's going to keep going. He just knows where I am. Oh! Fort Gale! Oh, and it's a Leonin enemy. Okay, sick. Fort Gale. Okay. Not quite the, uh... Redmain Castle. There you go. Oh, and it knows that I'm here. So we're not going to be able to really get that plunging attack right now. Without it being fully aware of our intention to do so. Yes! Look at me go! Nope. Oh, what?! I swear he was opening up for an attack just then. Let's go! Hey, okay, beastie boy, let's go. How did that not hit me? Good old hitboxes. Oop! There's actually been some times where I swear, like, an attack, like, will hit me or should hit me, and then when you rewatch it back, you actually see that the hitboxes are just doing some masterful work where it just, like, just goes past your head or something like that. It's crazy. I love it so much. Sometimes the hitboxes just perform very admirably. Convene the Festival of War. Honor General Radan. It's in your hands, Sir Jaren. Um, with a warrior's glory. Sir Jaren. Okay. If he's facing that way, that's Castle Redmain. That looks much bigger. Okay. This is a fort. That's a castle. Well, there you go then. Let's head up this tower. Let's get a nice little viewpoint of the lovely lands of Caled. It's just such a tourist destination. It's so nice here. So let's have a look. Ah, uh, we've got a sending gate here as well. Well, shit, where's this going to take us? 
For science. For science and sorcery. Let's have a look. Where are we going to get taken? <laughs> Do we just get taken to Red Main Castle? <laughs> it just went, here you go. You've been wanting to get there, so we're just going to drop you off. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> and I guess this will take us back? Or will it take us somewhere else? I'm just trying to see the direction of which the it flows. So we'll take a look. Nope, it just took... Okay. <laughs> it just took us even further in. Okay, just two sending gates. Okay. We're now in Redmain Castle. Ooh, the music coming in too. What if we use it again? I, I want to find a lost grace point before I do that. The music. Guys. Someone's singing the Halo theme song in the Red Main Castle bathroom. Ooh boy. Okay. Well, I asked for Red Main Castle. The game said, here you go. Here's Red Main Castle. Have fun. Chamber outside the plaza. Nice. Now I can use this sending gate again and see if it takes us back out. Because I'm not ready to... I want to approach Red Main naturally. Not in sending gate. Sending gate, please. Get me the fuck out. I wish to explore Kaled a bit more thoroughly before I end up at this lovely place. Okay, it did kick us back outside. Nice. Alright. And there is, of course, a grace point right here as well. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Impassable. Ah, an impassable grape. Alright. What's so impossible about it? It's right here. Look, I'm about to pass it. Impossible Great Bridge. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, and then this is an. I'm confused. Okay, I'm heading back. <laughs> I'm heading back. Okay, uh, we've headed back to Fort Gale's North Point because we still need to go through Fort Gale. And I'm thinking we might see if we can find this uh, find this finger reader. So we'll run over these lovely rotten things. Try and not get the attention of the Bloodborne dogs. God, Ugh. people with uh, trypophobia would not be able to make it through Kaled. Smithing stone level five, and here we go. It's stomping. Oh! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Okay. Oh! Ow! Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, and that's me off my horse. And I'm getting pecked. The pecker of doom. Oh, God! Please leave me be. Ah! The wind from there. Ha! Ah! <laughs> the wind makes you, like, get staggered a little bit. Oh, fucking hell. I can't... Camera! Please! Camera never works with a flying enemy, that's for sure. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my fucking god. Oh, this is... Okay, I don't... I don't like this enemy. Okay. Okay, I'm... I don't... Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that thing. No thanks. Not a... not a fan. Gonna have to put that one in the bin. Thank you very much. 
but I will backstab one if given the opportunity to do so. Okay. Come on, come on. I need to stealth over there. It's going to fucking notice me. Come on. Oh, come on. Hey no backstab on the big bird. Okay. What to expect, honestly. Don't know what I expected. Oh, oh god. Okay. Oh god. Fucking fighting birds on uneven terrain. Stop that. Okay, sure. That's fine. That's exactly what I planned anyway. Um, let's have a look. This way for the finger eater. Oh, this is a fucking nightmare of a place. Okay, that's an old tree that we haven't been to before as well. Just the music of this place is like so unsettling as you travel this this nightmarish land. Like holy shit. Okay, it's around here somewhere because that's the bird's eye telescope. Right there, in fact. Right there, in fact. Hello there. You. Please. I can read them. I can read them. Your fingers, please. Show hands. Oh, bless you. Are you one for festivals? Or flowers? To the south, a grand festival to make the stars turn. To the east, the heart and bud of a flower to be. But dare you enter into the heart of the scarlet rot? <laughs> oh. So South Redmain Castle, which is, uh, okay. The festival to turn the stars, and the stars are being held in place by Radan, so we got to fight that boy so the stars can move again. And then east, where we can deal with, um, Scarlet Rotland. Okay. Something to do with a budding flower. Interesting. Let's use our bird eye telescope. All right, let's have a look at this lovely place. Mm -mm -mm, tourist destination. So there's our little fort. Oh my god, there's a bunch of those chariots there. Another grace point there. I wonder, are these ruins that have like a... Ruins that have a downstairs? Potentially? Ooh, little shack. Where's that? I can't open the map yet. Little shack. I want to go up and check the little shack out. Uh, another costly looking area over there. That's a giant skull. More ruins over there. Yeah, we've got giant faces here. Even more giant related things. Then we got stuff over there. Fucking hell. What a pleasant place. It's just so nice over here. Look at the sky. It's just so so beautiful. Okay, so over here. I think it's like maybe here. Up on this ledge somewhere. There's a little shack. Let's go check that out. We'll go to this grace point through what may be some ruins here. There you go. Cool. I was trying to think, I, I was like, I've read that name before, I'm like Kylum. 
Uh, and I was like, have, have I read that in this game? But no, it's in, uh, there you go, there's our entrance. Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> Noctis Lucis Kylum. Kylum Kalum, however you want to pronounce it. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Hammer and flail pumpkin heads. Okay, okay, okay. Try and eliminate one as fast as possible. My jewel katanas. Oh, I want one of their hats. I want to wear it. Oh, God. Hanging out so closely together. <laughs> Do you guys mind not hanging out so closely together, please? I know you like are trying to be inseparable right now, but I would like to eat you. Oh my god. No health left, come on. Okay. Explosion. Uh, I'm gonna fight you with my spear now. We're gonna we're gonna get speared. Hey! Yeah! Get oh, sacred speared. Man, you just keep going with that thing, don't you? Oh, I really thought that I was going to be timing that wind up. Oh god, man, I got headbutted. Oh, I'm out of juice. Shit. 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 I'm out of juice. That death sound. Ah! 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 Goofy. Goofy ass sound. Okay. Nice. Look at me not taking that fight seriously. I was like, aha. And now for my next trick. Holy spear. Should have just kept facing them off with the katanas and it would have just creamed, creamed them. Oh well. That's fine. Bunch of dogs. No thanks, quick, get down. put my cold one on so I've, I've been using the physical one with the magic one but I'm gonna double it up with my cold one oh the f <laughs> the frostbite holy shit that was I got managed to get the full two handing combo off holy shit Oh my god. We putting in that work, baby. <laughs> oh! Holy crap. That's incredible. How'd you not die? That was gonna be my finishing move, you fuck. Nice, what the hell? <laughs> that was awesome. Holy shit. I'm like, yeah, I'll just put my physical attack katana on instead of the frozen one while I've got the magic one. Just because we'll see. Fuck me, never never again. Ooh. Is there an illusory wall in here? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. These doorways looking a little suspicious. It's like that mentality that now we know that they're in the game and you find them in places, it's like, gotta fucking dry. Mmm, okay, okay. No illusory wall. That's fine. No illusory wall, that's okay. That's fine. 
Oh, what? 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 Facade shield, tongues of fire. Tricks and bronze shield depicting the face of a fire giant. Several tongues leap from its open mouth. God, iron giant, uh, the fire giants, very, uh, very beautiful fellas, aren't they? The dreadful uh, visage and burning flames are designed to remind one of the horror of facing a fire giant. In other words, the shield has an instructional function. Tongues of fire. Ready the shield. Spray violent jets of fire from the tongues protruding from its maw. Hold to continue spraying fire. This skill can be used while walking. Oh, fuck yeah. Flamethrower shield gives us the overloaded equip load because it's too damn heavy. Nice. So... That's what a fire giant is all about. Being a sc huge scrap of iron. Nice. Okay. Double katanas is so much fun. It makes me so happy. And that's what this is all about. Being happy! And managing to not get on fire. Oh my god. Alright, we're working our way up here. For now. It's always good to get up to a great height first. How the hell are there trees going and growing in a place like this, my boy? Look over there. How are there trees that are not dead? That's crazy. Someone. Whoa! Oh! There are trees growing in Kaled, everybody. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, you're attacking each other. Good luck following me, you fucks. Grails. Oh, Grails Dragon Barrow. The dogs actually followed me. He actually jumped over there. Look at him go. Grail's Dragon Barrow, you see where we are? We're in the... Wait. Oh, I see. Oh, we ran past a... There's a map for it. Grail's... Grail's Dragon Barrow. Okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, map is this way. We did not run past the map, for we have yet to approach it. Oh, and it's raining here too. Holy shit, it's a dragon. There's a rotting dragon. Nope, hang on, map fragment over this way. I guess this is our divine tower of um, Kaled. Get down from there. Get down from there. Get out from there. <laughs> ah! Somber smithing stone eight. Nice. There's our little map thingy. There's water here too. Oh shit. Wait, there's just two? There's just two and they're just hanging out? Two dragons chilling in the hot springs. Five feet apart. Uh, we found Dragon Barrow. Nice, dude. Yes, okay, I thought so. Like, I th when we got into this location I was like we've seen that location name before and I was like oh we must be near the Beastmaster but he's all the way up here but I guess this is all that one location there's a huge bridge there a tree something there too holy shit man okay is this like a boss fight dragon 
Are there two bosses? Double dragon? Why are you looking onto the dragon over there? Okay, they're just normal enemies. <laughs> By this point of the game, dragons are just so normalized that they just be just stand your standard enemies. They're no longer bosses. I think this one I think might be resistant to magic. Hold on, let me try the chill one though. Oh. Oh nice. Oh nice. Let me just yeah. The dragons maybe resistant to magic. Let me try this. Nope, it's just got a lot of health. It's just got a lot of health. Okay. Love how your other dragon pal just has not come to your rescue at all. And just really like, oh, you can handle this one. I'm gonna keep bathing. Oops. Ah. Dude, all of my health in one hit. I almost did that without getting smacked. <laughs> I have a I have a slight complaint about the dragon fights now, and it's funny because it's all, we've almost come uh, a different way to complaining about dragon fights. Is um. Every dragon in Elden Ring is exactly the same. Which is a little bit of a shame, because once you fight... Once you've fought one, you've fought them all. Uh, outside, like, they might have some glintstone magic or something now, I guess, but... Um, so they might have subtle differences. Gravelstone. But it really is kind of... Uh, once you've fought one, uh, you've fought them all, kind of. Like, they all behave the same, you know? Which is, yeah, it's a little bit of a little bit of a shame. Whereas uh, previous dragons that you have that we've faced, obviously, are entirely different dragons and types of dragons. So it'd be cool if um, Elden Ring had maybe like a variety to their approach to the dragons. Because, like I said, when we first went up against when we first went up against Agil, I was like, oh, holy shit! Like I actually like. Uh, dragon fights. I actually enjoy it. It's uh, it's awesome. Big fan. Um, but uh, unfortunately, Elden Ring doing having the same dragon fight over and over and over again. It gets like it gets a bit less fun. It would be cool if there was, like, dragon fights to do uh, that weren't, you know, pretty much a horse fight, dragon fight type deal. Like, I'd like there to be, like, maybe there's, like, a cave with a dragon in it and it behaves a little different and you don't have to be on your horse. Like, it doesn't allow you to be on your horse and it has a different moveset kind of thing. The irony... The irony of me saying that the person who traditionally doesn't actually really enjoy those dragon fights. But I would like to, you know, I would like to. <laughs> like, I I didn't enjoy fighting Medea very much, you know. But maybe my opinion will change if I go back and fight him now, you know. When I eventually replay Dark Souls 3, I think that could be fun. I mean, these dragons, these two, because they're not boss fights, are actually even easier because they don't even spit any fire or anything. They just fucking... they just hang out. They got nothing going on for them. Except letting me whack them in the face. <laughs> and also missing them at multiple opportunities. Ah, oh, there we go. We got freezing and bleeding, I guess, for that final hit. Slither of meat. Yeah, it's just a, a little bit... I guess just a little bit unfortunate. Not enough to fucking, like, kill it for me or anything like that. It's fine. 
Okay, we are holding rower raisins. That's what I was looking for before, by the way. <laughs> I was looking for my rower raisins. Where are they? Ah, oh, just here. It's just gonna heal his health. Because he took a couple of hits. He took a couple of hits there. Ooh, we're actually near the... We're near the crystal tunnel. We've unlocked the map for the crystal tunnel. It's coming full circle, guys, to episode one. Oh, fuck, yeah, okay. So the dragons are just literally enemies in this place now. Um, maybe... Maybe a weapon that I have that'll do... Oh, maybe piercing could actually work better. Maybe let's try piercing, and if not, maybe striking. See if this does some more damage than my katanas. You're in a bit of trouble uh, navigating that tree there, my brother. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. What? Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that was such an un that was very unfortunate timing. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to dodge that one. That was super unfortunate. Massacred by that dragon stomp. Well, this is certainly a dragon, um, a dragon's butthole. There you go. So that's fun. So the dragons are just standard enemies in this section. Hence the uh, hence the name. Oh, hello. You lying down like that. I'm dry. Dry as a bone. Fool dragon, surrender your strength. Let me feast on your heart. I think you're the fool, son. These ones don't even give dragon hearts. That reminds me, we killed that worm that did give us a dragon heart. So I can get a new, um... new dragon thingy. Man, that must mean that there's more than those three dragon spells to get because um, there's still another dragon, a named one, like that crystal one hanging out near um, Rani's Rise that decided to fly away. So we got it. We can go back to the com Dragon Communion Church to get that third power, and then I guess the cathedral, which uh, is stated to be in the east, which actually would make sense to be around here considering the dragons. It might give us the opportunity to get some more powers. What is this? Ah. Oh. It's still a dragon. I was like, for a second I thought it might have been a different enemy type because it was it was sleeping. We got never jail. Oh yeah, the reason why I even had this hammer was to see if it did more damage against the dragon. Hold on. Let me whack this bad boy. And see if it does more than like 150 or something. 164. Okay. Nope. Whoa! Look at this. Look at this big boy. Hello. You're massive. What the fuck? Hey. No. 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 Nice. Okay, I was wondering if it would give me an item as well as just, you know, the refill. But no. Got another Evergel here. Celia Evergel. Alright. Shall we? Shall we? Enter the Evergel? I'm down. Let's enter the Evergel. Alright. What are we getting ourselves into? Let's have a look. Hello! Knock knock. Oh god. Battle Mage Hugus. Battle Mage Huge Ass. This is the dude on the loading screen. Oh my god, I'm fat rolling. <gasps> it's the hammer. Fuck. Get it off. We've seen this dude on the loading screen, sat in a chair, and I was like, look, it's Gale. Wow, it's got the big hammer! I've got that ability. I'm just not smart enough to wield it. 
I love his like massive staff and huge club. That's so cool. Oh, frostbite, baby. This is what happens when I finally decide to get into um, Ashes of War, dude. Oh, the AOE damage, no! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, whoa, the headbutting. Okay, that's so sick. No, dude. Actually, so fun. Ah, you thought you could win. You thought you could win, Battle Mage Hugis. Oh, we unlocked him as a spirit. Battle Mage Huge Ass. Let's go. Rocking the fucking spectral mallet, my guy. Okay. Let me have a look. Battle Mage Huge. I'm just going to call him Battle Mage Hughes. I don't care about it. <laughs> Ashen Remains. Yeah. Mosquito. Murdered. Great enemy felled. Love it. Ashen Remains, in which spirits yet dwell. Used to summon the spirit of Battle Mage. Hughes. <laughs> Hughes came from uh, Celia to study the Hymer Conspectus at the Academy, where he became a Battle Mage. Hymer scholars seek to quell conflict with cannon fire and the gavel, but Hugh, Hughes developed a longing for it. Nice. Ever jail. Conquered. Hmm. Hmm. I'm interested that that didn't actually give us a location. Maybe once you go through the door, it will. Oh, and I see. Dream barrow. It's so interesting being in a new area. So we're doing that thing all over again where we just get very, like, lost and confused, but not in a bad way. It's just very much like new place. Oh, my God. I see you. What are you doing in a place like this, huh? I just... They're just everywhere, and not where you want them to be. God, the verticality of this game is pretty insane, huh? So I'm pretty sure this is that, yeah, because there's the Town of Sorcery. That's the Crystal Tunnel. Down here is the hellscape that we were at when on the very first episode. Who would have thought that all of this stuff is lying up here as well? Like that giant skull. Oh, shit. So that's the Town of... Wow, it's so cool to see the Town of Sorcery from above. It's actually pretty small. Oh, and we've got a glintstone key, and also the erudition gesture, and starlight. So I think we might be okay to pass through whatever barriers we find in that town of sorcery, which is pretty sick. I'm excited. I'm excited for our proper exploration of that town of sorcery. It was a lot bigger and overwhelming when we were first there, but looking at it from like a bird's eye view, it's like, okay. It's much more manageable. A lot of ground to try and cover in this area. We'll stay up here before we head down. But also, I gotta try and not get too carried away. Let's see what we can find. I can't believe I killed. Oh, that pop in on whatever this is. I can't believe we killed those two pumpkin enemies and they didn't even give us a head. I wonder if you could farm... Oh, what? I wonder if you could farm those pumpkin bosses if you just killed one to try and get a headpiece and then you just kept dying to the second one. Dude. Oh. It's got a beard. It's fucking massive. Okay, I take back what I said. Whoa, it just made a bunch of dragons! Okay, it just woke up a bunch of dragons. Holy fuck, can I, like, ride this wing? No, I can't go through it. Ah, oh, it won't let me... What the fuck, dude? They're all just chilling, but they've all got, like, evil eyes. 
no longer just chilling. Okay, I take back what I said. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Wow! That's a massive boy! That's a massive boy! Whoa! We're still going. Go for the tail! Oh, I can't attack the tail. I can. Nice. Alright, guys. This is where I make my stand. <laughs> uh, is he invincible? Yeah. That health ain't going down. We'll cut off the tail and we get a massive, massive dragon great axe. Oh, hang on. Nope, the health went down. I think that's with frostbite. Is that with frostbite? No, because we, we're not using the... I think that was bleeding. Because we're not even using the... Uh, hold on, let me switch to this guy. Switch to the katana that does... Freezing and bleeding. Wow, yeah, it did. 9,000 damage. Holy shit, that's a lot of health. That's a lot of health. It makes me really curious, like, are we supposed to kill this dragon? It makes me kind of wonder, because it's got such a huge pool of health, whether killing it's a good idea. Like, what if it's tied to... What if it's tied to something? I don't know. It looks massive. Too massive to ignore. It was far too big to be called a dragon. Fort Faroth. Okay. Just the way that it just, like... Screams. Just summons a bunch of dragons. Okay, so they're like weak. They're all just chilling, and then this one wakes up and goes, Wakey, wakey. They're, these are all kind of weak. Is this a good idea? I don't know. This feels like it could be an issue. I mean, they're your standard... They're your standard dragons. Suffering from frostbite. Which is always good for me. Killing that dragon took its health down, like 1700. So you need to kill the surrounding dragons to like, I guess that's the intended way to kill it. By murdering the, sur the surrounding dragons instead of just wailing on his tail. <laughs> Interesting. Can I do damage to his head? I assume it would just do the same damage as the tail. Yeah, even. separate these dragons from each other, but they're hanging out pretty closely. Oh, and there's a third one. <laughs> uh, just a few... okay. <laughs> okay. Just a few dragons. Just a few dragons. Okay. I'm a bit overwhelmed at this, the three of you. Holy fuck. Dragons! Oh my god, get frostbitten. Ooh. Oh, what? Ah, uh, questionable hitbox moment? I was like in its little neck thing and it curved through me? I don't know. I just feel like it's because it's a dragon, they just genuinely always go, here's my big hitbox, because I'm a dragon, so deal with it. But we've made it to a fort that has, assumedly, a dragon guardian, and then also an Erd tree. But 
because this isn't like a boss needed to progress or something, I'm actually going to leave this dragon for now because maybe... Maybe there might be something about this that I would like to figure out later. I don't know. I have a, f I have a feeling. I got a feeling. If it turns out that it's just nothing and it's just like a gimmicky kill the these dragons to kill the main dragon fight, then that's fine. But it might potentially not be, and that's kind of interesting. Let's check out this Erd tree. Let's see if it's guarded by another one of those lovely Erd tree avatars. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's a perfect moment to summon a spirit, uh, summon spirit ashes for sure, because it can just take the aggro off of some of those dragons. Uh, we got a bunch of pots, so I'm assuming that we're about to have an Erd Tree avatar. Ooh, hang on a minute. Whoa. Ah, oh, that's different. All the pots are up here as well. I wasn't expecting there to be a drop. Hey. Erd tree avatar? Yes, indeed. Because there's a bunch of cracked pots around. Okay. Now... Uh, yeah. Oh, my health! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you've, you're strong too. Holy shit. This is a mistake. Putrid Avatar, a bit fucking strong there, mate. Holy shit. Yeah, that's like a... That's getting like one hit. I've, I've stumbled into a mistake. <laughs> I've stumbled into a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this is the one, Chief. We got a bit of a problem. Ooh, okay. Alright, alright. Okay, Caleb Thunderstorms go a bit hard, don't they? No, I get off my shit! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> okay, you reckon this is possible? That was stupid of me, wasn't it? Our poor ancestral follower, I was like, he's gonna die in like one hit. He actually survived! <laughs> Get fucking Scarlet rotted upon, there we go. That was fun. Alright, I'm not gonna do this guy yet. <laughs> we're pushing, we're pushing deeper into Caleb than is allowed. Well, we can do it, but I feel like we're gonna struggle. Yeah, it's it's very interesting um, because I want to do Kaled because I want to do the festival, but we're pushing into an area of Kaled that's very funny. <laughs> For those reasons, I don't think it's this is a good fight to ver to do on a horse. I'm going to come back here, so if I die, I don't have to trigger the fight with my runes. Oh, the, the fucking delay in that swing, man. <laughs> the delay in that swing. Erd tree... No, putrid avatar. We, we love them. I, I love fighting against the same enemy with the same type, except this time with rot coming out of its guts. Alright, we're going to leave that guy alone. I'm going to say no thank you, I'm going to decline his invitation, and I'm going to run until there's probably a point of grace over here somewhere. <gasps> oh, fuck! Fogel Bloom. Oh! Not only is it just atmospheric lightning, it's actual lightning striking the ground. That's so cool. Where's my ability to deflect lightning at? That's so cool. 
Wow, where does this go? Uh, we got another dragon on the bridge. Okay. Oh, that goes up to... What's his face? Okay, that goes up to the sanctum. Cool. Cool. Good to know. Another one of these cool towers. Ooh, golden in eight. Do you mind if I do? This is a converted tower, right? Oh god, don't fall. Drop down from here instead. Whee. Let's find the entrance to this bad boy. Hello? Is anyone there? Yes. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Hi -ya. Interesting. So we got big bridge and then smaller bridge that goes up there. Okay. Ooh, this one's blocked here. Oh shit, it's a M statue, but it's broken. Lene's Rise. Ah, okay. So we've got Lene's Rise, we've got Sorcerer's Isle, and then we've got, there's one still, there's one here that's there that we didn't get like a location thing for. Interesting, there's no tip on this one. And it's a different symbol than the one that was like all right well we're gonna try it anyway uh we're gonna try we're gonna try and see if it works i'm gonna do starlight i'm gonna do air edition see if it opens the door No? No dice? No dice. Something else is required here. Never mind then. Hmm. Something else required. I was hoping it would have just been a converted tower for us to like have like a fun time puzzle solving, but apparently apparently not. So I think with that one, as I reach this point in Kaled <laughs> where we've just kind of pushed in, which is really nice. Uh, I am going to leave the episode now. I'm going to bring this episode to a close. And I think this area might be pretty tough and difficult, but maybe if we go back down here a little bit more and head towards Redmain Castle as we were going to, we'll go down this pathway, unlock this next part of the map, and go through here. Because as you can see, it looks like the arrow after Redmain points up here. Uh, so we'll go down here, do this, see if that is a little bit less punishing. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Elden Ring, and I'll see you next time where we'll actually tackle Redmain Castle.